Hello, I am Ritesh Pran from LabVIEW and Multisim. In this lecture, we will learn sine wave and Gaussian white noise. We will use signal processing toolkits and uh, we will try to use Gaussian noise first and then uh, we will try to add the Gaussian noise with the sine wave. So let's start today's session. Come here and open your lab view and come into the block diagram. Open your lab view. Open a new VI. Come into the block diagram. Right click on the block diagram. Scroll down. You will get signal processing toolkit. In this signal processing toolkit, you will get waveform generation. In this waveform generation, in the fourth number column, uh, in the fourth row, second column, in the fourth row and second column, you will find the Gaussian white noise waveform dot vi. Take it and place in the block diagram. Now, Gaussian white noise waveform dot vi generates a Gaussian distributed pseudo random pattern as a noise. Now you will when you will press control H when you will press control H you will get a context cell. Please click on the Gaussian white noise to get a brief information. Now you can see the top one is our recess signal. Now you can see it's blinking. Okay, because I had point pointed the recess signal. Second one is the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the standard deviation of the generated noise, and the the default value is one one point zero. This one is seats. By default, the seats will be minus one. It will maintain the internal okay, uh, internal seat states independently for each instance of this vi. If you want, so you can uh, in place of minus one, you can give the zero. Using zero, you can uh, create your function as a reseeding. After that, here the error out input, error output, and now the sampling info. And sampling info at the sampling rate that is by default 1000 and number of sample that is also a thousand. Now right click come here right click on the front panel come into the graph and take a waveform graph and place here the waveform graph and make connection like that. Now run your program when you will run your program you will find this kind of Gaussian noise. Now I am going to use the while loop here. Right click. Create a control for the stop button. Right click. Come here take a timing vi and apply the wait function to reduce the execution speed of your while loop. And here I am going to give the 20 millisecond. And run. Now you can see. It's my Gaussian white noise. Now press stop button. Earlier I had written a program. So here I am going to open the program. Now this program in the I have earlier written. You can go to the my previous video and you can watch how can I uh, how can we design this program so right click here come into the signal processing come into the waveform graph take a Gaussian white noise place inside open the label we need one more waveform graph here we need one more waveform graph here 
waveform graph for noise. Now I am going to take the waveform graph here. Make a connection like this. And run the program. Now you can see. It is my Gaussian white noise. Let's try to add both the signal now. Right click. Come here. Take add functions. Add both the signal. And after that, take one more waveform graph for result sine plus Gaussian noise, sine plus Gaussian noise. Now take it inside, place and connect here. Open the label. Run the program. Now you can see how my sine waveform is look like. Here I am going to increase the amplitude. I am going to decrease the frequency. Now you can see. So it's my sine waveform. It's my Gaussian noise only. And it is my Gaussian noise added sine waveform. Okay. If there is no signal, so you will get only noise. If you will get some signal, so you will get signal plus noise. In this way, you can generate sine waveform with Gaussian noise. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, so please like and subscribe. Thank you.